ICE took the stand, looking directly at jurors as he stated his name. In a soft, measured tone, the 58-year-old described the daily routines of his over 20-year marijuana use following back surgery and a stroke. Grice then recounted the events of the day, including playing golf and having at least one double bourbon drink in four hits of marijuana. When they told me I couldn't do pain pills anymore, I thought, oh, I'll try the marijuana. Testimony from golfing partner Bruce Gartner put into question Grice's capacity to drive, a point hammered by prosecutor Rob Sanders during the testimony of Mr. Grice's wife, Tammy. Take anything else for the back pain. He smoked some marijuana. Did uh, you observe Dan drive a motor vehicle? Yes. You've seen your husband drink bourbon on numerous occasions, correct? Correct. And he has drank bourbon to the point of intoxication before, hasn't he? No. Never, ever, ever in 33 years. I have never seen him drunk. So there was no reason that your husband needed to be passing on the wrong side of the double yellow line, was there? But it was Grice's own words describing the fatal impact which claimed the life of a mother and father and their three children that visibly shook Judge Sumi's Kenton County courtroom. Do you feel responsibility? Any, any responsibility for that? Yes, I feel some responsibility because people died for it. I mean, it was my core that hit. You have to have some responsibility. I hit that call. I didn't see it, but I hit that call. And those people didn't have a chance. You know, we were going fast. And I was, you know, I can remember praying for it. I got to that point. Please come. On redirect, Commonwealth Attorney Rob Sanders challenged Grice's account that another man was responsible for the crash due to a road rage and failing to yield to Grice's Honda Pilot. Grice says that he panicked, unable to hit the brakes. I was going too fast to turn. I saw one little turn there. I woke up laying on the ground. I was about to hit the uh, courtroom very silent today again as that testimony was continued in this courtroom but again it is one that will continue after the weekend as this case may go to a jury sometime next week. Reporting from the Kenton County Courthouse, Richard Childs, WLWT News 5.